Hello, I'm Allie Almond, and here's a few stories from around the Des Moines Public Schools. Students at Molten Extended Learning Center are enjoying new magazine subscriptions as part of a new initiative to get students to read at home. Funded by a grant, each student at Molten received a subscription to a magazine of their choice. With magazines like Ranger Rick, Zoo Books, and Sports Illustrated for Kids, there's something each student will enjoy. Teachers say that the idea came from trying to help make the connection from reading at school to reading at home. This is a way for parents to see that it's important to um, expose their children to print. And um, hopefully this will plant ideas in people's heads, maybe for the parent to order a magazine, um, maybe um, for uh, a, you know, a school to try to write a grant for money for this. Staff members at Moulton are excited about these subscriptions and encourage other schools to look for grant-funded opportunities to get magazine subscriptions into students' homes. In addition to the reading going on at Moulton, fifth grade students there recently took a field trip to Drake University where they went on a chemistry adventure. Each fifth grade class spent a day with the Drake Chemistry Club where they made silly putty and saw how to make a penny disappear. The college experience ended with the Drake students telling stories about what life in college is like. Over at Greenwood Elementary, third grade students have been working with local singer and songwriter Mary McAdams. The students have been working on writing songs about environmental issues such as global warming, conservation, and recycling. In addition to working on their writing skills, the activity has encouraged the students to think about their impact on the environment. In other news, the Des Moines Public Library recently held a writing contest in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Caleb Black, a third grader at Jefferson Elementary, won the elementary category for his essay about how his uncle is like Martin Luther King Jr. Michael Harris, a sixth grader at Merrill Middle School, won the middle school category for his essay about what advice he thought Martin Luther King Jr. might have for President Obama. Both students were invited to the Forest Avenue Library on Martin Luther King Jr. Day to share their essays. Finally today, the recent inauguration of Barack Obama was a historic occasion, and students across the Des Moines schools took time from their day to watch the extraordinary event. We stopped by Windsor Elementary, where the students had gathered in the auditorium to watch the event unfold. This is a, a moment in history that no one will forget where they were at that particular time. And it's so important to all of our students, to all of America, and to the world. Um, we feel that um, even though we're just one person, what a difference that we can make. For the inauguration day events at Windsor, students had to write a letter explaining why they thought they should attend the festivities. Then they each received a ticket and made their way to the auditorium where they watched history in the making. In addition to the final event on Inauguration Day, students had been working up to this day by learning about past inaugurations in history class and doing math activities to learn how much money it would take to get to Washington, D.C. to attend the festivities. Thanks for watching this edition of Channel 12 News. Have a good day.